All right, chapter 3, it, the main focus of chapter 3 is working with cascading style sheets. Okay? Lesson 1 is going to be the easy one. It's going to be creating ordered and unordered lists. So if you look at my screen, turn your monitors off. I'm going to create a new, uh, new file here. And a uh, new news file, I'm going to call it lists. Example, okay. Whoops, misspelled there. No biggie. So if I have items like here, uh, I have items like Duncan, Enter, Jake, Enter, and Nathan. Enter. I have these three items in here, and I created these items. And you can see that there are paragraph tabs, the P. This, these items are enclosed in paragraph tabs. There are three different paragraphs, and there's a fourth paragraph that is actually empty. I can make this a list. I highlight the text that I want to make lists, and I go on the property inspector, and I have two buttons in here on the HTML category, by the way. Either unordered lists, so that adds a little bullet, or an ordered list, if I click on it, it adds a number. Now the big question here that you're going to ask is this, is, uh, okay, this is fairly simple. Um, I can actually add items in here. I press enter and it automatically adds numbers and I can go to Austin, Dennis, and uh, Justin. Okay? Oh, son of a gun. <laughs> Neil. I don't know why. He, he looks like Dennis, I guess. But anyways, so if I wanted to add items, it's easy. If I had to insert an item between Jake and Nathan, I could. I'm going to put uh, Ricky in there. And Ricky, turn your monitors off, Fiend. Um, so that's fairly easy. And if I wanted to change... The style, again, I say, okay, uh, I can change this to, again, back to bullets, and vice versa. If I want, got to the end of my list and I'm done, I press enter, and oh no, another number comes up. All I need to do is backspace, oh, I'm sorry, not backspace, but enter again, and that actually takes me out of the list. If you go to the code view and you take a look at this, I'm going to highlight this and go to code view. You're going to notice that in my HTML code, for numbered list, the tag is OL, for ordered list. And this shows insert the number. If I change this list to a bullet list, and I go to code, the tag changes to a UL, which stands for unordered list. Everything in between the UL tag that starts on line 9 to line 17 are items on the list. And these items, each one of them, are going to have a LI tag, which stands for list item. Okay? And they're enclosed by the tags. Whether this is an unordered list or an order list, it does not matter. The LI stays the same. Okay, the li tag never changes. What changes is the ul tag. Um, you also notice that in the beginning, when I put the three items there, they were paragraph tabs. But the moment I changed that to a list, the Dreamweaver replaced the HTML ta tag p with the li. Okay, that's all well and good. Um, and then you come to the question of. When do you use a bullet list and when do you use a number list? Anybody has any ideas? Why would you want to use one over the other? Ricky? Maybe you set to a certain order. Excel excellent. Doing step when when the order in which you go through the list is a important matter. Okay? Um, so like if uh, if you're somehow ranking something, you're giving step-by-step -step instructions, directions to a place, directions of how to make a recipe, directions of uh, 
how to, you know, Ricky is making a baseball website. Maybe it's, uh, it's, it's time for you to say, okay, uh, how do you do a, how, how to swing the right way? Ricky, go ahead. One, grab the bat. Grab bat. Two, put both hands on end of bat. Both, both hands on end of bat. Last one? Three, swing. Swing. All right. Well, this is just an example. Let's give an example of a list in which the order is not important. When would that be the case? Maybe you're list making a list of uh, things that you like, but you like them all the same. So, Justin York, give me a list, give me a few items that you like all the same. Food items that your mom makes. Huh? Justin? Dishes. Huh? G what? Gay. Gay. Cake. Cake. What else? Turtle soup? What else? And so on. Okay? These items really don't matter which order they are. These are just things that you like. All right. Any questions on lesson one?